How long will a 20 pound CO2 tank last in a grow room? Or more importantly, how long will a 20 pound CO2 tank last in a cannabis grow op, okay? Regardless if it's cannabis, horticulture, agriculture, you wanna know how long the CO2 tank lasts. Well, guess what? There's a problem with this question. And the reason being is there's many factors that go into this. So let's say I had two different rooms. One room was sealed off completely, okay? The other room, had air conditioning that blew in, but then you had doors opening and windows open and you had fans that were blowing out. Well, that 20 pound tank, the same 20 pound tank in both rooms, it's gonna last probably a thousand times, not a thousand, maybe a hundred times longer, 50 times longer in the sealed room as it would in the room that's not sealed because the CO2 is just blowing right out in the atmosphere. Number two, what PPM of CO2 do you want in the room? Now, in the, in the same example I just gave, let's say you have two rooms, both of them are sealed off, but this room, you need CO2 at 700 ppm. By the way, we're breathing about 350 to 380 ppm in the normal atmosphere. So you want 700 in this room, but this room, you want 1200. You need more CO2 in this room, so the tank is going to last less, okay? More, uh, less ppm, a longer tank last okay i'm saying this all crazy but i'm trying to say this in layman's terms so you understand this so the less ppm in the room means the longer the tank will last the more ppm the less the tank will last because you're putting more co2 into the air now the co2 has a flow rate and these are normally regulated by regulators and devices that turn them on and off again we probably wouldn't use co2 at night in our grow rooms because that's just not something that you do. But if you wanna keep the PPM up in there, that's fine. The CO2 goes on when the lights go on and that's generally how it is. We do have clients that keep it at an even, let's say 1000 PPM or 1200 PPM. Now, case in point, they may also use the CO2 to kill any type of uh, insects in there. Again, they'll kill a human in there as well because it literally depletes the oxygen. And this is, I'm talking, they raise the CO2 to like, 20,000, 30,000 PPM, which requires a lot of CO2. Now, don't do that and God, please be careful because you could die in there. That's a lot of CO2, but it kills everything in the room for a matter of five hours, 24 hours, 10 hours, whatever they do it for. Always use a life safety device. Always make sure you know what you're doing. But to answer this question directly, it's hard to put an accurate number on that because Again, other factors come into play. What size is your room? The bigger the room, the less the tank's gonna last. So 20 pound tank in a small bedroom or 20 pound tank in a huge warehouse, okay? It's gonna last a lot less because you need more CO2 to reach that PPM. And guess what? That regulator is gonna keep pumping CO2 out in a warehouse to reach 700 PPM when you are gonna reach 700 PPM and maybe a lot less time, a fraction of the time in, in the bedroom. So these are the factors that really matter when it comes down to the question. How long will my 20 pound CO2 tank last in a grow room, okay? Case in point, here's the factors. Room size, the regulator flow rate, the PPM that you want the room at, the temperature that the room's gonna be at. More importantly, and we see this a lot, is the errors, okay? Is there fans blowing air out? Is there a pass-through of air in the room or is the room completely sealed? Also, is it a single pass or is it a dual pass air conditioner? Single pass means what I just said. Air comes in, boom, blows out, okay? You just have an AC that's pumping air in. A dual pass is going to take air from that room, cool it again, and pump it back into the room. Think of a mini split that sits on your wall. That's a dual pass. These things matter, okay? Again, if I didn't mention it, what PPM do you want your room at? I mentioned it again if I already did because that's important. The higher the PPM, the faster your tank's gonna run out because it's pumping that CO2 in the room to get the PPMs up, okay? Which is parts per million. So these things matter. So there's not a one size fits all here. Many things come into play and I guarantee most rooms, they do have leaks somewhere. So you wanna make sure your room is sealed. So. How long does a CO2, a 20 pound CO2 tank last, or how long does any CO2 tank last inside a grow room? This is probably the most in-depth answer and will get you the information that you need. Comment below, let us know your thoughts. What size room are you working with? What type of PPM are you trying to work with and have your settings at? 
What size CO2 tank do you have? We can advise you if you put the questions down there. Thanks for watching.